Getting tired of the mind-numbing, life-sucking, soul-draining, stop the world, I want to get off. Daily commute? Well, hang tight. The fix is coming faster than you can get from zero to 60. I'm Scott Ellis. You're in a Johnny Cat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Citrix. Go to Assist, the number one global market leader in remote support. Ah, the Dallas North Pole Road. It's part of my daily routine and there's nothing quite like sitting in traffic to have the life sucked right out of you. I long for the days of self-driving cars, so the time I spend getting from point A to point B isn't a complete waste of time, but is rather a chance to be productive, relax, or bug my fellow commuters for a little Grey Poupon. Pardon me, would you have any Grey Poupon? But of course. Fortunately, with the recent advancements in autonomous vehicles, that day may be closer than you think. And this episode was prompted by recent news from none other than Tesla. If you haven't heard, Tesla Motors, purveyors of fine electric vehicles, announced that their cars could be driving themselves now. Founder Elon Musk said that they would be rolling them out not in a few years, but in the next three months. Or did they? Well, here's the catch. What they actually announced is that they'll be rolling out a software update that will enable an auto steering function that will keep the car in its lane and manage lane changes. So the first step here isn't a big one, as there are already cars that have lane assist technology. Regardless, it's a step in the right direction. So how is all of this possible and how far will they take it? Well, every Model S built since October is equipped with radar, sonar, and other hardware needed for autonomous driving. Combine that capability with navigation, GPS, and real-time traffic systems, and all that's missing is the software needed to bring it together. Then there are the legal issues. Even if the technology is there, different states have different laws, or lack thereof, governing autonomous vehicles. How regulators will react to the sudden onslaught of self-driving cars remains to be seen. So we may not be living in an era of completely self-driving cars quite yet, but my guess is we'll be there sooner than you think. And if our insurance companies have anything to say about it, and they will, they'll be mandatory in most congested areas almost as fast. So why does a car guy like me, who by all accounts loves to put his hands on the wheel and his foot on the gas, love the idea of autonomous cars so much? One, because a lot of daily driving is just routine and boring. And when the highway is bumper to bumper, the fun part of the driving experience goes away, so I'd rather be doing other things, which leads to number two, safety. Let's face it, drivers are more distracted than ever, and the basics of driving are tasks that turn out to be pretty well suited to a computer. Like it or not, better than a human in most cases. And three, it's just plain fun to watch technology advance as fast as it is, especially in ways that impact our daily lives. Of course, sometimes getting from point A to point B is completely unnecessary or next to impossible. So when I need to help a client or a family member, which is largely the life of an IT guy, I turn to GoToAssist. With GoToAssist remote support, I can provide live support to any computer or mobile device. So when my grandmother calls me up because she deleted the internet again, it's easy for me to jump on and lend a hand. And with the new See It feature, I can stream their smartphone's camera to GoToAssist so I can even figure out when something's wrong with the hardware. Sign up today for a 30-day free trial, no contract, no credit card needed. Visit gotoassist.com and click on the Try It Free button now. And if you purchase a GoToAssist annual plan before March 31st, you'll get a free Samsung Galaxy Tab 4. How cool is that? Back to Tesla. One of the chief concerns among prospective owners of electric cars is keeping them charged when you're traveling long distances. It's a pseudopsychosis known as range anxiety. Let's face it, the last thing you want to do is run out of electricity on the side of the highway in the middle of Nebraska. As a part of the forthcoming Tesla software update, the Model S will help you plan trips based on available charging stations and will constantly reevaluate range, likelihood of running out of power, and make recommendations on when you can stop. If the car thinks it's likely to run out of power and you decide to carry on, you'll have to double verify. So when you wind up as the guest of the children, you can't say you weren't warned. Electric or otherwise, here's my prediction. By 2020, most of us will be doing most of our driving with our hands off the wheel, and for some, much sooner than that. Much sooner. However, if you happen to remember that you watched this five years from now, and I turn out to be wrong, feel free to come back and leave a comment. That's it for this one. Drive safe, and I'll see you on the information superhighway.